Aloha mai kako. Happy Tuesday, or is it Wednesday for some of you? <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Hula. This is our Tuesday night Hula class. Uh, my name is Kumu Kanoi, and this is Halau Napua Hala Kuno Wike Kai. We're so happy to have friends joining us from all over the world. If you haven't already, go ahead and put into the comments a little note to your Hula brothers and sisters around the globe. We'll be sure to say hi to you in a little bit. But since this is the first month of July, we're starting a, I'm going to call it brand new hula. Um, as I was getting ready for today, this song kept coming back to me. Pola ila'i. I really want to do pola ila'i today. And something told me, oh, you better go check and make sure, because I think you did it before. Um, I actually found out that we've done pola ila'i two times since the beginning of the pandemic, since March 2020. Um, but we haven't done it this year, and it is one of the hula standards, a classic, and some of you have been asking for review, some live review. We have lots of videos for you to be able to listen to and watch on your own, uh, but many of you asked for live review, and so this is the first one that we're going to start with. This is Pola Ila'i by Maddie Lam and Mary Kavanapukui. And we'll be diving into that. There's five verses, so we're going to do two tonight. We'll do a little bit of basics, a little bit of background on the song. Um, but yeah, plenty to do. We want to make sure we say aloha to you folks. So I think it is time. Aloha ho my welcome back. Um, I see lots of you joining in, and so we're going to try to take some time today to say aloha to all of our live viewers. I know that some of you are probably watching the replay. Feel free to still leave us a comment below, and we'll say a hi to you a little bit later when we get back to our comments. But those of you joining us live, we want to give a special shout-out to Uncle Frank. Aloha Tuesday to Uncle Frank and Auntie Mary in California. Cyan and maybe Cal watching in the background aloha to the loves in ia joey in pearl city aloha no patricia joining us from massachusetts thank you for always sharing our posts with your ohana and your friends on facebook i know that many of them hopefully are joining us today um coco coco joining us from mexico Hui, aloha I see Jane is joining us from Redondo Beach, California. It's great to have you, Jane. Thank you. Um, Norie Naganawa is joining us from Jifu, Japan. Uh, Julie Zydek is joining us from Hong Kong. I'm telling you, we're all around the world. Sharon, I was just texting with her a little while ago. She's right here um, in Halava on the island of Oahu. Of course, we're coming to you from Oahu, um, in case you're wondering. Wendy, also here on Oahu, St. Louis Heights. Azra from Taiwan. Ivy in Korea. Oh, it's rainy in Korea today. Helaua keia. Yoshiko, mahalo for your donation, and I'm so happy to have you um, joining us from Guam. It's great to be together again. Brenda from New Jersey and her daughter, uh, she and her daughter came not too long ago. Hopefully they'll come back soon. Linda from Pennsylvania. Sutanya in the Bay Area. Rosalinda from Cloudy Central Florida. Aloha, Rosalinda. Jamie in San Diego. Uh, Huntington Beach is represented. Michelle Vaughn, great to see you. Catherine in Kelowna, B.C. And Veronica is in Mexico. Of course, Mama Chun. I see you. You're in Makiki, right? Yes, I'll see you live on Friday. Her keiki is going to come join us. I see Misuk on also in uh, Incheon, Korea. Manny from San Francisco, but today in Waikiki. Chihoo! Way to, way to be here. I'm glad that you have been enjoying your time here in Hawaii. I hope that your trip back to San Francisco is safe. Leslie from Sequim, Washington, and Sandy from Mendocino, Northern California. All right, I think there are still more coming in, but 
we have to get on to Hula. So if you haven't gotten a live shout out, please know that we appreciate you being here and being a part of our Hula Ohana. We really are global. We have Asia and Europe and, of course, North America and the islands all represented. So are you ready? Makau Kau? I, that's what I should have heard, right? You said, ah, yes, we're ready. Okay, so uh, for those of you that this is brand new, I, I did notice some brand new names on there. I just wanted to introduce myself once again. My name is Kumu Kanoi, and I am the Kumu Hula of this halal, halal na pua hala kuno wike kai. We teach here um, out of our home in Nu'uanu Valley. This is my parents' home and the home that I grew up in. And this is the spot where we normally have our live classes. Uh, we haven't had a live hula class since March of 2020, uh, but we're looking forward to bringing back our live classes right here in Nu'uanu very soon, hopefully at the end of this month. So if you're interested in joining us for our live Tuesday night hula classes, be sure to reach out to me so that I can get your information and bring you back to Halal. We're so, so excited. Um, we have been teaching here on Facebook Live, and we've been sharing hula with friends from around the world, and we've, we've sort of been upping our game over the past few months. So since January, we've added a few more tech pieces. Maybe we'll do a behind the scenes tour one day. Uh, but, you know, we like to share a little bit about the hulas and make sure that we have the words and the translation so that you know what's going on. So I hope that you'll enjoy the show and share it with your friends and come back over and over again. So without any further ado, let's start talking about our mele for this week. The mele that I have chosen is called Po Lai Lai. And Po Lai Lai is written by Maddie K. Lamb and Mary Kavena Pupu'i. So um, actually, do I have a picture of the two composers that I can share with them? There they are. OK, so on this side right over here, you have Maddie Lamb. And Maddie Lamb was responsible for the music of this uh, song. In the coming weeks, I'll take a whole week to tell you all about Maddie Lamb and sort of her history and what she brought to this songwriting duo. Because these two uh, ladies, they wrote more than 25 mele together. So they were a team that lasted. So Maddie K. Lam right over here on the keys. And then, of course, on this side, Mary Kavena Pukui, who is Tutu Pukui to many of us. She is the one, um, she and Samuel Elbert were responsible for putting together the most popular Hawaiian language dictionary, the Hawaiian English English Hawaiian Dictionary, the one that is recommended by all of the Kumu. Um, and so she wrote the lyrics to this mele. And so these two together were na haku mele, let's say. They were the composers. Now, before we d jump into the song, I wanted to talk just briefly about this idea of haku mele. So some of you might know this word haku. It has multiple meanings. The first one is um, some people have these lays that they wear on their heads, and they call them haku. Now, haku um, is sometimes confused because the word haku means to braid. And so when you're talking about a haku lei, you're actually talking about the technique of how the lei is made. But it has sort of been confused with this idea of a head lei. A haku lei could actually be worn on your neck, on your wrist, on your foot. Any of those could be a haku lei. Um, if you're talking about a head lei, you're going to say lei, Po'o, which means head lay. Uh, but anyways, back to haku, this word meaning to braid. So the person who makes a lei is a haku lei also because they haku the lei. The person who writes a song braids together and weaves together lyrics and music to create that beautiful mele. And that's why composers in Hawaiian are called haku mele. Now, the word haku actually has a dual meaning, and it also means a protector or a caretaker. Um, for those of you that are perhaps religious, when you speak of God or the Lord, um, you'll sometimes hear God referred to as kahaku because he is the protector, the caregiver, um, the father figure. And so that word haku also means to take care. 
So an interesting thing about Hawaiian music is that after a hakumele writes a song, sometimes they'll dedicate it or gift it to someone. Maybe they might give that as a birthday present or an anniversary present or uh, just a any day present. Give the song to someone. And then that person becomes the haku o ke mele. They become the bearer, the caretaker, the owner, in a sense, of the song. So I just thought that would be an interesting to teach you about today, uh, this idea of haku mele, the one who does the braiding of the mele, and the haku o ke mele, the one who cares for it. In a sense, when we learn a hula and when we learn a mele, we all become a haku o ke mele. And it is our job to make sure that we're telling the story just right via the hula. Okay, so now back to the mele. This is po lai lai. So the word po on the top in white, you see there, po means night. So as opposed to la, which means day, po means night. And lai lai um, is going to be this clear night. Okay, so po is night. Lai lai is clear. So a clear night. Hopefully we'll have a nice clear one tonight because we're hoping to eat dinner out on the deck. So Hopefully, we'll have a po lai lai um, here. And so this song talks about a beautiful, clear evening and what the action is that's happening on this clear evening is just going for a walk. Something as simple as going for a walk could become inspiration for an entire song, five verses, uh, and that's what we're going to be learning about today. So let's dive right in. Our vamp, or our kaholo, for this song is going to be just a regular kaholo with our feet, and then the hands are going to be the basic half a tee. Okay, so let's cover feet first. Kaholo, which many of you are familiar with, is going to be four steps to the right and then four steps to the left. So for our style, let's put our hands on our waist. Um, when we do basics, we always put fingers to the front and thumbs to the back. Feet are slightly bent, and we're going to take four steps to the right and then four steps to the left. Ready, set. Here we go. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Once again, kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left. Kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left. Very good. Man, I'm looking at the monitor and I hope you guys have shades out there because this dress is loud, isn't it? It's so bright. I apologize. It color my, uh, but I love it. So sorry about it. <laughs> it's another one of those rentals that I do from Mu'umu'u Library. I just love, love, love their Mu'umu'u. Okay, back to Kaholo. Hands on your waist, feet slightly apart. Bend your knees softly. Let's Kaholo to the right. Here we go. Step together, step. Tap, step together, step. Tap, step together, step. Now let's add the hands with half a T to the right and half a T to the left. Stretch it out, open the chest to the right, two, three, and to the left, two, three, kaholo, right, two, three, kaholo, left. Of course, when we get the vamp in between the verses, you'll only get to do one set of right and left. As we dive into Pauku Ekahi, that's verse number one, uh, your hands, after you finish your vamp to the right and your vamp to the left, the left hand is going to just drop down by the side of your body. The right hand is going to extend out towards the person who you would like to invite with you on this walk. So you're going to reach your hand out. Kauai. That's it. The word kaua means you and I. So you're going to reach out to you. No, to me. Anyways, reach out to someone. <laughs> kauai. So kaua means you and I. It's all built into that one word. Kauai. Kaholo holo. We're going to kind of uh, snap our fingers. And it's, it's a kind of a slow motion. Move, snap, move, snap. Okay? I can only really snap with one hand, so I hope that you can hear it on the microphone. If you can't, just imagine it goes, mm, snap. <laughs> Snap. Okay, so here's Kawa reaching out to you and I. Kawa i kaholo holo. 
So this is not a fast-paced New York City gotta get where we're going walk. This is like, I could take my time because I just want to spend it here with you, okay? Just real lazy kind of walk, okay? So now let's add the feet for this. The The next step that I'm going to introduce to you in the basic steps is actually called an aui, aui, and it's okina, a u I. So here's the aui. For the aui step, this actually comes from the pahu tradition. Pahu, of course, being the, the drum that we have right here. The pahu version of this, you would extend the foot out, and then you would draw it back. Let me lift my mu'umu'u so you can see it. Sometimes you would do it multiple times. Yep. If you had watched The Merry Monarch just this past week, you might have seen there was a dancer who did something like this, you know? And she went out, in, out, in, out, and up, and out. Did you, did you see her? Am I making this up? I swear she did that. Okay, so that step that she was doing where she was bringing her foot out and in, it's not that she was indecisive and she couldn't figure out if she wanted to hella or not. That is an actual step in the hula. It's called aui, okay, or aui. So aui, you're going to go out, in, out, in, out, and switch. Luckily, in this stance, you don't have to go three times. You're just going to go one time. Out, in. Now, the difference between this and a hella is if you notice, I'm still on my left foot. I have not left my weight from the left foot. So you're going to go out with the right foot. My weight is on the left. And you're going to bring it in. My weight is still on my left. Okay? After that, we're going to do a ka'o. The ka'o is another basic step. And it's just a sway. So you're going to drop your weight into the right foot. Sway and sway. So let's try from the aoi. No need any words, but we're just going to go out and in, shift and sway. Sway one more time. Out, in, sway, sway. Okay, don't worry. We're not going to do this one. Okay, so <laughs> you're just going to go out. In sway, sway, ready, go. Ka uwa i ka holo, holo. That's it. So now your hand that extends for ka uwa is also going to match the foot. The right foot is going to extend. Ka uwa, bring it in. I ka holo, then sway. Ho lo. Don't forget that little snap there, okay? Even if your snap kind of goes, eh, just keep going. Ready? Set one more time. Ka uwa i ka holo holo. Very good. And if you want, you can look to the side and you can look to the side while you're doing your sway. You can look wherever you want. This is not the Merry Monarch. You can look up, down, side to side, whatever. Okay. Let's go from the ka holo, the vamp. Ready, vamp. Da 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 da. Ka uwa, you and I. Ka uwa i ka holo, holo. Okay, from right here, i ka po mahina, your hands are going to be facing down towards the ground, palms down, fingertips together, and you're going to draw this great big moon. I ka po mahina la i la i. Now you want the roundness of your arms to show the greatness of the moon, and then tilt all of the chins, tilt the chins up so that we don't see gobble gobble. Okay, so here we go. I kapo mahina la i la i. That's it. Okay, so that's gonna be a very simple kaholo right and left on i kapo mahina. Let's add the feet. Ready, go. I kapo mahina la i la i. Let's go from kaua, from the aui, with your hand and your foot going out. Here we go. Ka uwa i ka holo holo. I ka po mahina la i la i. How was it? Pretty good? Okay, now let's back it up all the way to the ka holo vamp. Okay? So you can start with your right foot forward, hands down by your sides. Ready, holo. Da 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 da. Ka uwa you and I. Ka uwa i ka holo holo. I ka po mahina la i la i. 
Okay, I was just about to go on to the next part, so let's do it. Your left hand is going to come right to your eyebrow so that you're kind of um, showing off your eye, and your right hand is going to be extended toward the 45-degree angle. Now, the difference between this and this is this is the 45-degree angle, and this is the side. This is the front. We have another angle of the, the camera that might help with this. So your 45-degree angle is going to be here. If it were to the side, it would be here. And if it were to the front, it's going to be here. Now, I want it to be at the 45-degree angle, and I want it to be up above head level. Okay, so this is where that kilo is going to be. The word kilo means to observe, oftentimes observing nature. So you're going to look up towards the right. E kilo ho'o, ho'o nanea means to relax. So after you re, uh, observe, then you're going to bring that right hand. It's going to tuck underneath the elbow. And you can come back to this regular camera, sorry. And then you're going to bring it underneath your chin. Which chin? Right chin. <laughs> Not the left chin, but the right chin. Yeah? Okay, right side of your chin. So you're going to look up to the right. E kilo ho'o, then look to the left. Nanea. Good. So look up and observe or gaze and then relax. That's going to be very simply kaholo right and left. But because you're looking up and looking down, it's going to look real pretty. Okay. Tilt the chins up. Ready, go. Then what are we observing? We're going to observe the stars. For our stars, there's lots of ways you can do different kind of star motions in hula. This one, we're going to do just flickering stars like this. So you're taking your thumb, you're going to hold all of your fingers back with it, and then you're just going to flick, 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 flick. And you're going to do both hands um, four times. So it's going to go from the side on the left to the front, to the side on the right, and then back to the front. Okay, so there's a pattern. Side, front, side, front. Imagine that a pattern. Okay. To see the stars of the heavens. Okay, let's try it. Ready, just the hands. Now, even though your hands are going towards the left, your kaholo or your feet work is going to take you towards the right. So your hands are going away from you as your body moves to the right. Here we go. Let's try from the top. Dance with me. Kaua out and in. That's Kaua i kaholo holo moon. I kapo mahina la i la i. E kilo ho na ne. I na ho kua kala ni holo. Follow to the right and left. That's it. That's the whole first verse. Do we have a question from the audience? This is my favorite part. I love live questions. Okay, what is it? The question is fingers together or spread out. I believe that Michelle is asking about the hoku motion. So for the hoku, when we do that flicking of the fingers, my four fingers are actually staying connected for the whole time. And the only um, thing that separates is my thumb. If you were to ask our son, Eames, this is, not a, this is not a finger. These are fingers, and this is a thumb. So this is only eight fingers up. Okay, so anyways, luckily he's not here to confuse us. Uh, so fingers together, thumb separated. Flick, flick, flick. Now, I have to tell you, this probably looks more starry. In fact, we went to go see Beyond Van Gogh at the Hawaii Convention Center, and some of those stars did look like this, with things sticking out in all of the directions. But in the hula, sometimes less is more, and actually where the sparkle really comes from is in your face. So make sure that you're not staring straight at the camera or staring straight at the iPad, wherever you're watching, and going like this. That's not what we want because that doesn't give the illusion of stars. You have to turn your head and gaze at those stars, and the sparkle in your eyes shows how beautifully 
luminescent those stars are. Okay, so it's all part of it. Good. Was that the question that you're asking, Michelle, or was there someplace else? Perfect. Great question. Those of you that are out there, if you have questions about what footwork should we do or anything like that, is it right or is it left, now is a great time to put those into the comments. Mahalo ya oi, eh, Michelle? All right. I think it's time to stop listening to me sing live because we do have a recording. Hey, there's a bunch of you on here. I just saw the number. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Okay. Let's go with a recording. By the way, the recordings that we use are still me. Um, unfortunately, we don't have, you know, copyright to use some of the fabulous recordings out there, but there are many. I think one of my favorites is by Lorna Lim. There's a great version also by Darlene Ahuna. I believe Ku'uipo Kumukahi has another version, and any of them will work. You listen to all of them and figure out which one you like, okay? This is my version that I recorded for this class. So here we go. Oh, oh, I turned it down too much. Sorry. Try again. Kaholo. Let's go for a walk. Kahua, you and I. Kahua, i kaholo. E kilo, let's gaze with intent and relax. Flick, 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 flick. Once more. Kawa. Kawa i kaholo. E kapo mahina la ila i. Gaze. E kilo ho onane. Nice job. So this is kind of a simple um, hula. It is not made to be too crazy. And actually, um, I did teach this in the Keiki class in September. And so this is a great one uh, for, for young dancers, for youth, as well as for older dancers. Um, actually, on our, our, what is it? Uh, on our Instagram, I put up a question today, which is, what is the one hula, and I'll put this out to you folks as well, if you had to choose the one hula that every hula dancer should know, in other words, what are the standard hula that everybody should know, what would it be for you? Um, some people have answered saying, ka uluvehi oke kai, and that is absolutely one of them. Papalina lahi lahi. Um, what are some of the other ones? Uh, lots of papalina lahi lahi. I've heard so many different answers, and I think um, Pola Ilai, the one that we're learning today, is one of the ones that I think should be a standard. If you go to a baby luau, or if you go to listen to music live at a restaurant, now that that's coming back, this is one that you should be able to go up to any Hawaiian music group and say, oh, can we do my favorite Pola Ilai? And they should be able to do it, no problem. And you should be able to do it, no problem. If they say, are there any hula dancers in the house who can dance pola ilai? I think that this is definitely one of those standard hulas. Do we have some ideas from people who are writing in? Go ahead and, and write it into the comments. I want to see what you folks think is the, the standard hula. And you can also answer um, for kahiko numbers. In fact, I'm actually putting together a curriculum of standard hulas so that we can all make sure that we have this sort of basis of knowledge so that when we go out we know that we can dance you know these these hula standards so let me know what you think they are and i'll, I'll let you know what i think they are um pretty soon we're going to be releasing that pretty soon so okay all right yay i'm glad this is one of your favorite songs let's dance that first um, verse one more time before we dive into verse two. Today, my plan is to get two whole verses in. You'll get it. We're, in fact, I think we're going to finish early, but you're doing great. Here we go, all the way back from the beginning. I think. Hula. One 
one more time. Pay attention to looking at your hands. Kawa, look beyond the right hand. Look down. And follow that move. Kilo. Looking up. Look to the left. Follow the stars. Left, front, right, front. That's it. Nice job. Okay, so um, I was just calling out some head movements this past time. Let me just clarify that just a little bit. For Kawa, of course, you're going to look forward at whoever you're inviting. Kawa looking down. Ika holo holo, you can look side to side, doesn't matter. Ika pomahina, I'm actually following the right hand until it gets to about shoulder level. And then I'm catching up with the left as it meets above. Then, of course, you're going to look beyond your right hand as you're looking up towards that angle. A kilo, you're looking at the stars, not at your hands. And then ho'onane, you're going to look towards the left wall. And then up above at the left, to the front, to the right, and back to the front again. Yeah? So now that you know where your head should be looking, try to break your habit of staring at the screen. I know with Zoom, we all really get into just watching the video and depending on it. This time, try to look away, and then we're going to go um, into the second verse after we practice this one last time. Okay? Here we go. This is po la i la i for a walk um, with a loved one. Ka ua i ka holo holo. Oops. Here we go. Hula. Ka ua. Ka ua i ka holo. Always gonna get that bam in between every single verse. So you don't have to worry about oh, it's going right into the second verse. Okay, so that was pauku e kahi. You see right here it says pauku. That means verse, and e kahi of course means one or first. So now we're moving on to pauku e lua. Our second verse it says ko mayana ke ala. Now the word ke o, like a lot of Hawaiian words, has multiple meanings. So ke o. Ko can mean sugar cane. In this case, we're not talking about sugar unless we're talking about how sweet our loved one is. But the word ko also is related to the word ho. On Saturdays, we do a chant that's called e ho mai. Do you remember that, that chant? Have you heard it before? So e ho mai means to grant or to give or to receive. Ko mai is sort of a similar idea. Um, we're saying that this fragrance is brought to us. In fact, it's brought to us not in a box or a basket or a bag. It's brought to us on the wind. And so that's what we're going to be talking about um, in this second verse. The fragrance that we're talking about is the fragrance of the pikake blossom or the jasmine. So this song, this second verse is all about smell the beautiful aromas that we witness as we go on our walk around the neighborhood with our loved one. Okay, so ko mayana ke ala, the hand motions. The left hand is going to start straight out to the side. So not the 45, not in front, but all the way out to the side, that's your left hand. Your right hand is going to go underneath your nose and you're going to inhale, hanumai, and then you can exhale as you go out. So Ko mai an, sorry, ko mai. <laughs> ko mai anna. And I'm noticing actually my right hand is going to go more toward the side. Okay, so. Ko mai anna ke ala. Then the peacocky blossoms, you're going to use this small of your hand or this, um, I don't know if it's called the heel, but it feels like a heel. This part right before where your wrist and your hand connects right here. 
um, the heel of your palm, and you're going to use that as a guide of where to put your second hand. The hand that's closer to you is going to line up right there. And you're going to pick the flower. One, two, three, four. You actually get four whole beats to pick one time. So I know that feels luxuriously long, just like your slow walking. Pick very, very slowly. So, o kapua o kapikake. Okay, so let's try from the fragrance. Left hand is going out to the side. Right hand is going to come underneath your nose. Don't forget to breathe. Ko mai anake ala. Oh my gosh, I think I did it again. I went backwards. I did. Sorry. Your peacock is going to be on this side. This is how you know that this is a live hula class. If this were edited, I wouldn't have showed you the wrong thing. But this is live. So here we go. <laughs> After your, you breathe to the right and then breathe to the left, of course, you're going to pick on this side. So still using the heel of your palm, but you're going to pick towards the left, 45 degree angle. O kapua o kapikake. Okay, now that Kumu got her act together, let's try one more time. Komai, ready, set, here we go. Komai anake ala. O kapua o kapikake. Sorry about that. Hard time when you gotta be the teacher and the student and the musician and all the things at the same time. My bad. Okay, after you pick, one, two, three, four. Ihali hali, it is carried. So you're going to reach your two hands out, and then you're going to bring it into your chest. For this one, your middle fingers are pointed directly toward one another, elbows pointed out to the side. So it's going to go from the side. Ihali hali, other side. Iamai. And then ekamakani kolonahe, you're going to do a wind motion with your right hand over the top. And then wind motion with the left, and you're right in place to do your vamp to the right and your vamp to the left. Okay, so that's going to be your Komayana Ke'ala verse. That's the whole thing. Let's try one more time. From the fragrance lifting from the nose. Komayana Ke'ala. Pick four times or one time. O kapua o kapikake. And it's carried with ihali hali iamai on the kolonahe wind e kamakani kolonahe kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left i am always so amazed that in the hawaiian language there are so many different types of wind and rain there's actually an entire book um, about this thick, it's called Hanau Kaua, and it's all the rain names. And I think they're working on a second volume that has all of the wind names too, and I just can't wait for that to come out. But in Hawaiian, we don't just say wind. It's just like in English where we have breeze and gust and hurricane force, um, gale, and but there's not just five ways to say wind. There's hundreds if not thousands of different types of winds so this kolonahe um you can probably hear in there it has that that root that's nahe nahe like so soothing when you hear music that's soothing you say ooh kanahe nahe it's so gentle and it just makes you feel good so i would guess i haven't looked up kolonahe but um you know, you see in the in the translation, it says a gentle breeze. This is not a tornado gale force wind. So take your time over the top. E kamakani kolonahe. And kaholo to the right. And kaholo to the left. Yeah? That word kolonahe, the, the word kolo means to crawl. Yeah? Kolo. Um, and then nahe is that, that gentle uh, soothing. Okay? So it's probably not beating down on us like some of the wind has been this past week okay let's try just the hands for komayana okay from your left hand is out ready set breathe in komai anake ala pick flower o kapua o kapikake and it is carried 
i halli halli i a mai e kamakani kolona he kaholo to the right and left. I bet that you'll be able to guess most of the feet work for this one because it's a lot of kaholo. It's a pretty simple second verse, kind of ease you in. Don't worry, it'll get more complicated next week. But for komayana ke ala, we are going to start with a kaholo to the right. So left hand is out. We're going to move towards the right four steps. Komayana ke ala. Now, you could do a kaholo here. And in fact, in one of the versions that I taught, I think the one in March, I did a kaholo here. But what I really want is to challenge you to do the hella step right here. So hella on the four picking of the pikake. The hella is actually one of our basics that we have to um, cover. And so for the hella, you're going to start with your heels together in a V shape. And you want to make sure that your right foot when it goes out, is totally touching the ground from the toe to the heel and everything in between. So you don't want it to be up or down or anything like that. So we actually have another view that might help you to be able to see this more clearly. This is our va vai cam, va 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 not va 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 voom. <laughs> Heels together, feet um, turned out just slightly, not all the way out to the side, and your right foot is gonna be flat. So my heel is touching the ground, but most of my weight is still. You can't really see, but it's still here on this back um, back foot on the left hip and through the left thigh, which is bent. So you're going to bring that back in, heels together, and then alternate with the left foot out to the 45-degree angle. Now my weight is here on the right side through this hip and thigh, and then you're going to bring it in. So you're going to do four hellas. So ready, set, here we go. Hella right, hella left, hella right. Hella left, hella. So that's the four hella that we're going to do. While we do that, we're going to be picking our hikake. So let's come back to the regular camera so you can see hands and feet together. Remember, hands are very close together. Hikake blossoms don't bloom wide and huge. They're actually kind of tight together. Okay, ready? Hella, here we go to the right and left and right and left. I picked a little fast that time. I don't know about you. I would love that you pick, 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 and then form on the fourth hella. So try your best to drag it out. Enjoy every moment with your friends. Okay, hella set. Here we go. O kapua, o kapikake. I know it's hard. Then when you kaho, uh, when you do hali hali, when you bring it with, you're gonna kaholo away from your hands, just to the right. I hali hali, and then to the left. I amai. And actually, I am turning my shoulders just slightly at the angle so that um, you know, it doesn't look like this. Yeah, turn your shoulders towards where they're coming. I hali hali i amai. Then continue with the kaholo. E kamakani kolo na he kaholo, right? Let's try the whole thing. Komai ana, don't forget to breathe. Komai ana ke ala. O kapua o kapi kake. I hali hali i amai. All looking right and left. And we always get to do two times each verse. When I did my recording, I did two of each verse. Some people, you have to be careful. They'll do two for the first verse, one, one, one for the middle verses, and then two for the last. So just make sure you're listening very well to the musicians or the pu'ukhani so that you know what verse is coming up next. Okay. Ooh, I love, I see some of your suggestions for standard hulas. I'm going to come back to that in a, after we finish this verse. Okay, here we go. Oh my. We're going to start with the bow. Ready, hula. Four hella. Hali hali, bringing with. One more time of that same verse. Call my Anna Kaya Allah. Call my 
So now let's practice verse one going into verse number two. Um, and then I can't wait to see your standard hulas that you suggested. So we're going to take a look at that right after we do this. But first, here we go with, uh, oops, all the way back. This is Pola Ila'i verses one and two. Pola. Pola, you and I. Kahua i kaholoho I kopoma ni nala i Kilo Observe E kilo ho onane Relax Look at the stars Twinkling above First verse repeats Kahua 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 i kaholoho I kopoma ni nala i Kilo E kilo ho onane take a look at these examples um, I noticed that some of you put what your first hula was in case you're wondering my very first hula that I learned back when I was just a beginning keiki with Auntie Lei was drum roll sophisticated hula hands on your hips I don't know if anybody else had that one <laughs> okay so let's see huki lao oh Francie you know what? You're right. That is a very important one. Hukilao, of course, is um, based on this idea that the ancient Hawaiians would gather in large groups and they would use a huge net that could maybe cover the entire mouth of a bay and they would pull it all in as a, as a township or as a community and then they would share the catch um, and it would last more than just one meal but perhaps an entire season. So that song is written in both English and Hawaiian, and it says the one that goes, Oh, we're going to a hukilau, to a huki, 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 huki lao. That's perhaps one of the first hulas that our malihini or our visitors learn when they come to visit these islands, at a luau or something like that. <laughs> okay, I also see Sharon says, Lovely hula hands. That's a really great one because it's also, um, like hukilau is sort of, um, it's a hapa haole tune, so it uses English lyrics, which are perhaps easier for some of our youngest learners who are not Hawaiian language speakers um, first. So having English lyrics, that's a very good one. And then let's see. Ooh, I also see Lili Uwe. Julie um, from Hong Kong mentioned Lili Uwe. Lili Uwe is a chant that is dedicated to Queen Lili Uokalani, and um, in our style, it's called the hula ai uwehe, which means that almost the entire hula is uwehe. It's this step, right? Uwehe, left uwehe. Lili ue no nani mai koki no e ki mili mili. Of course, there's hands with it, and you don't hold a computer while you do it. But um, it's a great step for learning. Oh, sorry, a great hula for learning that step. And in our Hulas, we actually have so many different hulas that are written specifically to practice one or two steps so that we can master it over time. That's a great one. Ooh, oh, there's so many good ones here. Linda from Pennsylvania says kane ohe, and that is one that I learned also 
That one is really good because it has a repeating refrain. That little refrain happens in every single verse. So even though there's lots of verses to learn, you have that repeating refrain. Another song that's like that that we're doing on Saturdays is Hene Hene Koaka. Um, and that one has for you and I, you know, that refrain that comes back every time. Another great one for beginners. You see, there's a theme here, beginning standard hulas. Anyways, um, lovely hula hand, hukilao, oh, yaoi kala, mani. That's a great one to know, but I think there's something like 13 verses. You're going to have beginners learn that? <sighs> okay, kavika, kavika. We'll go with kavika. Kavika is a little bit simpler. Yaoi kala, if you can learn that one, you can learn anything, especially if you can learn all the kahea. Hanalei moon, you would be amazed. I went to Tahiti uh, when I was in college, and even there they knew Hanalei moon. That was their most requested hula song for us to do, and we thought, we, we know so many hula. You want to know Hanalei Moon? Okay, sure, whatever. Um, but but it's so popular. The singing bamboo, of course, referring to the ka eke eke. Um, and Jamie's first hula in San Diego was green rose hula. I learned that one with the ipu. No ka pua lo ke la o ke aloha. No ka u i ka u i ka ve kiu. That was a great one to start learning the standing ipu hulas. Oh, these are so good. So many ideas of what we could possibly share with you here on um, our online hula classes. So I am loving this. Did I miss any? I think I got them all. Oh, ha'a hula. Ha'a hula is a great one, but it makes my thighs sore just thinking about it because the choreography that Auntie Lay did had us ka'oing down to the ground and then back up again like every other line so whew, nightmares anyways all right um we're gonna finish with one more run through of verse one and two kawaii koholo holo and komayana ke ala i hope that you've enjoyed learning pola ilai with us with us make sure you stand up don't sit there i know i've been talking a long time stand up stand up stand up let's dance one more time pola ilai before we go okay here we go. Hula. Kahua. 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 Congratulate yourself for learning those first two verses and for sticking with it for almost an entire hour. I know I always say I think we're going to learn leave early and then I just talk, talk, talk. Sorry about that. But anyways, we're so thankful for you being here. Your homework this week is to, of course, practice the first two verses and maybe share this with a friend, someone that you might like to do this with. I have my friend Kanoi joining us all the way from Boston. I know she's going to be watching the replay this week, but she's my hula sister from way, way back, small kid time. And I was talking to her about how excited we were to dance this hula together. So if you have someone out there um, that might like to see this, this is a great time to Im invite them to watch the replay, which will be available immediately after this class here on Facebook. Um, and you can also find us on YouTube 
So if you can get them started and invite them to come back and join us live next week, we'll be even bigger group dancing around the world. We're so happy to be a part of this Hula Ohana with you. So until next time, keep practicing and ahui ho.